welcome back to chapter three, lesson one. We are on page 157. A fact family is a group of related facts that use the same numbers. You can use fact families to relate multiplication and division. Example number one, Cheryl is helping put away 18 basketballs after practice. She places them on a rack that has three shelves. How many basketballs can she put on each shelf? You're going to use a fact family. Now, I am going to color code this. You do not have to do this, but I want you to see the magic. If that's green, no, that's the computer. So sound is muted. This is yellow. You can kind of see my yellow, right? Yeah. And this is blue. Now, why am I using yellow, blue, and green? Because yellow plus blue equals green. 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 Now, if I start with the 18 and I divide it by 3, my answer is going to be 6. If I start with the 18 and then divide it by 6 my answer is going to be if I start with the 3 and I multiply it by 6 my answer is going to be 18. aren't these beautiful if I start with my 6 and I multiply by 3 my answer is going to be 18. you got it so 3 times what is 18 uh, six. 3 times 6 is 18 6 times what is 18 three. 18 divided by 3 is 3 I said it the wrong way apparently 18 divided by 3 is? Six. Six. No, I did. I was confused, but I apparently my eyes jumped. So 18 divided by 3 is? Uh, six. 6. Cheryl can put 6 basketballs on each shelf. Then it says, draw an equal amount of basketballs on each shelf. So we're drawing 6 basketballs. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three bas three shelves. Six basketballs. Three times six equals eighteen. Any questions for me? Easy cheesy lemon squeezy? Turn the page, turn the page. Oh, this is getting algebra. I love algebra. Love algebra. Um, did I say I love algebra? I love algebra. An equation is a number sentence that contains an equal sign. Well, that makes sense, right? Because you guys have seen equations before. They have an equal sign on them, right? You can use related facts to help you find the unknown or the missing value in an equation. You can use a variable or a letter to represent the unknown number. So it says Ellie is creating gift bags for her party guests. She wants to divide 56 pencils equally among seven gift bags. How many pencils will go into each bag? Well, I'm going to start with the big number, right? Because if I'm splitting the number, that's going to mean that's my... If I'm splitting a number, that's my big number, right? So my big number I'm going to use as green because I'm splitting it 
into yellow and blue, right? So here's my 56. And I'm dividing it by how many? Oh, seven. seven. So I'm going to think fact triangle because honestly it helps me a lot of times. So here's my fact triangle. Multiplication, division. And the big number goes on top. One of the little numbers goes over here. And then I'm going to call it, they called it P. Could call it your mystery number. You can solve a mystery in math. Um, so then the question is, what number times 7 is 56? So something times 7 is 56, or 56 divided by 7 is something. We have one person with their hand up. Two, three, four, five. Getting more. So my friend just said, Miss Richardson, I know seven times eight is 56. So because 7 times 8 is 56, 56 divided by 7 is 8. So P equals 8. Ellie will put 8 pencils in each bag. P for pencils, 8 pencils in each bag. Did that make sense? Excellent. Guided practice. Why did they just give us this one for us? Oh, well. We can rock it off. So what goes at the top? And then what's going to go in one of these spots? So it's going to go in one. What's going to go in the other one? So eight times... 9 is 72. 9 times 8. 8 is 72. Something divided by 8. Okay. 72 divided by 8 is 9. And then something divided by 9. Look at you guys rock and roll. Now, as always, if the colors help you, use the colors. You, I'm not going to mandate you use the colors, but if the colors help you think it through, please use the colors. That's what they're there for, right? You have colored pencils. That's what they're there for. All right. Divide. Use a related multiplication fact. So, 48 divided by something is 6. Think something times six is forty eight. What? Eight. So my friends said eight here. So if eight times six is forty eight, forty eight divided by eight equals six. And you guys can see my eight okay up there, right? My yellow. Okay. Forty divided by five equals. Think 5 times something is 40. 5 times 8 is 40. Then 40 divided by 5 is 8. All right. Now, this is a little bit different. This one says write a fact family for each set. I want you to draw the fact triangle. What number is going to go on one side at the bottom? Why did you come up with five? Oh, so there's five going down. So I will use five on this side. So because there's five going down, I'll use five here. And then I heard somebody else blurt out three. 
And why did you come up with three? Oh, one, two, three. There's three going across. And then how many are there all together? Fifteen. Fifteen. And you're going to do a multiplication, division in the corner. So, my facts are going to be what? Give me one. So my friend said 15 divided by 3 equals 5. Okay. What's another one? 15 divided by 5 equals 3. Give me another one. 5 times 3 equals 15. And my last one. Yep. 3 times 5 equals what? Nicely done. Um, I would like you to make the fact triangle for number 6 and try number 6, please. Number six, how would you do your fact triangle? What? 36 at the top. Four on the bottom right. And? Okay. And then my problems look like this. 36 divided by what? <laughs> Equals 4. My turnaround is 36 divided by what, everybody? 4. Equals. Nine. Then 4 times blurt. Nine. 9 times. Raise your hand if you got that right. Does it matter which order you put these in? No. No. As long as we have the right answer. Right. That's fine. Uh, 68 divided by 8 is? 8. Eight times... Sorry. Something times 8 is 64. 8. Ooh, 4 times 8 is? 36. Something divided by 8 is 4. Try number 15, 16, and 17. Right. How did you solve number 15? You did what? Mm hmm Now, were you able to do it just in your head, or did you have to do something else? Did it in your head. So, if you can't do that in your head, then you could do a fact triangle. And then you know when you're multiplying, it's like 6 times 2, and your big number goes on the top. Right? 
So you could solve for 6. This could be your mystery number, and you could have said 2 times something is 12. Or you could have said 12 divided by 2 is 6. Okay. Um, Jason, how did you solve number 16? Eight times three is twenty-four. Did you do it in your head, or did you have to solve it a different way? Skip counted by eights. How did you solve number seventeen? Nine times eight is seventy-two. And were you able to just do it in your head, or did you have to do something else to solve it? How did you end up solving yours? Okay, so counted by nines till you got to seventy-two. That's a lot of nine counting, isn't it? I just knew that I knew that nine times two is eighteen, so I could just keep on adding that. Yeah. And what I suggest when you get bigger numbers is you start with something times five, right? Nine times five is forty-five. And then you're halfway there, right? So if you know 9 times 5 is 45, then you should be able to figure out 9 times 6 is 54. Even if you need to add the 9, you could say 9 times 7 is 63, even if you have to add another 9, and then you get to 9 times 8, which gets you where you need to go. Does that make sense? Good. And you problem solved them all okay? Fantastic. Do we need to run through any of these others? If you guys have problem solved this, are you guys solid in this, or do you want to see something else? Anybody have any questions? Raise your hands right now. Nope. Looks like they're good in person, so hopefully you guys are doing okay outside. Oh, yikes. I do not have homework for that one. Okay, homework page. We are on page 161. I would like you to do numbers one. Bam. Two. Bam. Three. Bam. Oops. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and fourteen. Yep, yeah, you have, but you have more than your normal time to work on your problems. Um, all right, my friends at home, we'll talk to you later.